Okay, so I'm going to need a cigarette for this Larry Norman story. Okay, right. okay. you can smoke okay. yours. I can't believe I oh, haven't I have told been. you my Larry Norman I story. Can't believe I haven't. You. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You can still surprise me after all these years. <laughs> Hilarious. It's a great story. <laughs> You can still surprise me after all these years, darling. I've, I've kind of got two. Yeah, I don't know there if, are two. I don't know if both of them are worth talking about or just the one. Just the, the one. one that's worth Do talking about. Do the one. About. Do okay. the one. I don't want to be bored with this. So. <laughs> okay. Tell the interesting one. <clears throat> Tell the good one, dude. Yeah. Okay, so I was possibly more of a Larry Norman freak than I was a Petra freak. Yeah. I mean, well, from a historical standpoint, you got to give it to him. Yeah, yeah. You really do. He was more of a godfather than even yeah. Fletcher was. And so uh, I was completely enamored by this guy. And so we got booked at a show. I don't know where it was. doesn't really matter. But it was one of these like three, four day kind of like retreat kind of mm -hmm. things. Larry Norman was actually like uh, Christ Fest type of thing. Where yeah, like, mm -hmm. well, it wasn't a, it wasn't a festival sort of like cornerstone. It was literally right. just this one church or one little high school gymnasium mm -hmm. where they were going to do a four day. There's all these bands playing and there's different guest speakers mm -hmm. and all this mm -hmm. stuff for four days. Dave Reaver and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, one of those kinds of things. And so Larry Norman was one of the speakers. Yeah. And so we come rolling in there and he was still hanging around. Mm -hmm. he, he had spoke maybe the night before, but he was staying. And the reason why I have two stories is because I found out earlier that Larry Norman was actually a big Johnny Q Public fan. Really? Mainly because we covered Reader's Digest. He found out about it. He also knew that we were not allowed to be on the Forefront tribute record to Larry Norman because we didn't sign with Forefront. Um, Can I interject? Who is Larry Norman? Larry Norman's like oh, the... Uh, he would be almost like the Bob Dylan of Christian music, wouldn't yeah. you say? Oh, yes. really? And he was one that the church liked, but they didn't like because he would say things very bluntly, but you could not deny his impact. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He, he was... What, he was like 65, something like that? Yeah. Or maybe even earlier? Yeah. His first album? 1965. Yeah. Oh, dang. He was yeah. kind of like a Christian There was no Christian guy. rock before him. No. He and was the Larry starter of it. Sounds like he's worth Google. And he Oh, is. yeah, he is. He, was, he would say things that uh, were so sharply true that it actually was like controversial because he didn't do the basic... Christian uh, behavior, holier than thou, holier thing. than thou yeah. thing. He was just like, "Hey, th you know, this is the shit." So for us young, you know, Christian run be rockers like Josh and I, we, we this guy was God. Yeah, I mean, he was just like, <laughs> blasphemy. Oh. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, I mean, little G. Yeah, yeah. okay, <laughs> little okay. G. With a little G. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, we already we already had found out because he had actually come and seen us in Nashville that we didn't know about. That's really? my first story, but uh, we'll skip that. He stuck around because he wanted to see us play at this four day little retreat. Mm. Well, then when we get there, the guys are kind of arranging like, "Hey, why don't you know talk to Larry about maybe getting up on stage with you guys and you guys could do Reader's Digest?" And of yeah. course, I'm just like, "Well, hell yeah." That's fine. So we're in this locker room, literally like a basketball team's locker room. Was this an arena or something? It was like a high school gymnasium. Okay. And so we're hanging out in there. That and was your dressing room. That was our dressing room. And so all the arrangements were made that we were going to sing with Larry Norman. So here he comes. He walks into the locker room and we're all standing in this high school basketball locker room. Like benches, lockers, Weird. It was exactly what you would a think. A locker room, yeah. A locker room, locker room. A locker, yeah, locker room. You know, yeah. And there was locker room talk, right? No, wait, anyway, go ahead. <laughs> the, the shit that Christians say when they're, dude, especially Christian musicians, hundred percent. Yeah, I mean that's true mm. for everybody. Exactly. I tried yeah. to say the same shit on camera that I would off. But when you <laughs> see your heroes say things it's like. Oh, what? You're like yeah. what? Yeah. Is that where this story is going? No, no, no. 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 Did no. you say the no. N word? No. No, 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 no. No, no Larry would never. I'm just no. kidding. Sorry, Larry. No, no, no. I, did get, I, I did get offered a beer on DC Talks bus one time. But that's a separate story. Okay. Anyway. I like that nugget. So he comes in. He just, he's just he's just frowning. He's frowning. And we're like freaking out like, oh, Larry. No. He's just like, mm, yeah, okay. And we're trying to talk. And he sits down like straddling one of the benches mm -hmm. in the locker room. And he leans back. And he lays down on the bench and he falls asleep. 
Oh, oh I thought maybe constipated. <laughs> like <laughs> 30 just, minutes before the show? Fit, 10 was, minutes. 10 before, minutes before the show. What was ten, up with that? Was he just, he a just laid down, down. He laid down the bench and he just hand on his forehead and he just falls asleep. And we're just standing there like, all right. Mm-hmm. Should we say something? What do we do here? I don't know what the fuck. Just <laughs> laying there. So you can kind of hear the rustle and bustle outside on the PA system. Boom, 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 boom. And they're just getting ready to announce Johnny Q Public, whatever. And he kind of sits back up. And I was like, hey. He's like, what do you want to do? I was like, well, I'll, I'll sing the first verse, I guess. And you want to sing the second verse? And we're doing his song. Yeah. Oh, shit. So it's like, yeah, I'll do the second verse. And he's just real lethargic. He's not talking to us. He's not exciting. He mm. just took a fucking cat nap, like right <laughs> before we take the stage. Reader's Digest is like the fourth song in. So we started. And I'm like, okay, cool. Now I am in one of the most incredible positions I've ever been. This is one of my most favorite memories of my whole life. Mm-hmm. Because I'm like, I'm getting ready to sing with Larry Norman. He's been my hero since I was 12. Dude. And so I know he's wild. I know he's controversial. I am going to go all in. Mm. I am going to I am going to be so wild. And I want to butt in real quick because if you've ever seen Dan perform, which you have not, have not. but we have, he goes all in all the time. When he goes all in. It's so no holds barred. according it really to is. anyone so who watches him. Yes. Is, so now intentionally going all in. So if I make the commitment bigger. to go all in, it's I, bigger. I am. Did you throw all, your underwear into the crowd? Uh, maybe. Almost. Almost. <laughs> There's a story kind of like that. I'm going. Yeah. There actually is. I, I heard it. <laughs> That's part of the, my first Larry Norman story. Yes. When I blew my pants out yeah. on stage, Larry Norman was there. Shut the he, fuck he was up. right there. He saw it. He was I on the stage. Did he see all like of it or just. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, I'm just I'm fucking giving it my all. He hasn't taken the stage yet, he's just at the little stair thing on the side. I'm just like, God, that, that is crazy. And I'm just a kid, kids in the crowd and up on the drum riser and I'm going ape shit because I'm like, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to trump Larry Norman. Yeah. I'm, go- I'm going to try to do better. Got to bring your A game. Yeah. I'm bringing my A game. So I get done with my first verse and it kind of goes into this droney sort of in between two verses thing. It's one of those kind of songs that's just the same thing throughout the whole song. Just da 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 ba ba da 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 over and over and over. Riffing. So I'm done with my first verse and he's still on the stairs and the band's playing and we're waiting for Larry to sing the second verse. In our version of the song, it should have been started eight measures ago, but he still hasn't even taken the stage. So I'm just still sitting there. It's like, da, na, 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 I also just, da, na, 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 I also just watched him take a cat nap in the fucking <laughs> locker room. So I'm like, is he even gonna come up? I'm looking right at him, just like. Did need some catnip or something, yeah. right? <laughs> and so we're still going. We're still going. I'm like, I'm not gonna jump into the second verse because he already said he's gonna do it. So I'm just, you know, trying to look cool, standing over by our other guitar player, waiting and waiting and waiting. <laughs> and this is just like da na 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 over and over and over and over. He finally steps up on stage. The place goes ape shit. And he grabs... Because they know him. They know him. Oh, yeah, yeah they oh, know him. He just yeah. spoke at the place the night before and everybody's big Larry Norman fans. <laughs> oh, man. He grabs the mic. Oh, and man. I can't even imitate what he did. But he let this... He was in the same mindset as me. He was like, you thought you were going like, to upstage me? me up. Right? Not, exactly. <laughs> you are not going to upstage Sorry, Godfather. Exactly right. <laughs> and he lets this scream, howly scream, that lasted like eight measures, just what? <laughs> falls on the fucking stage. Yeah. He's still screaming and kicking like... It's like I'm some Pentecostal shit. Pentecostal <laughs> shit, yeah. And he still hadn't started the verse. We're still... Da, 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 da. And he is wailing around all over the stage, and he's still screaming for like 30 seconds straight. And I'm like... So you're still wondering what what's going to happen. <laughs> and then he just goes straight up into the second verse, doesn't miss a lyric, doesn't miss a beat. He oh, knows dude. the song like this, and just wails it out. And I'm like, fuck, mm. you... I'm like... 
Yep. Sorry for even trying. <laughs> and then we blast out the end of the song, man. I got to perform with him on stage. That's so cool, Fucking though. He like so awesome. felt your energy. He was like, nah, dude. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> <was> totally <laughs> I was like, you were dying 20 yeah. minutes yeah. ago. Like, how it did you like do like a banshee. Yeah. Right. <laughs> He was a wild dude. Oh, I man. wish there was fucking video of that. There probably is there on VHS. On VHS. <laughs> no, it was VHS days. Well, we can digitize that. <laughs> we totally can. Oh my gosh. So I, I just want to butt in real quick because uh, Screamer Dreamer Medication Information, mm. she she comes in. Larry Norman released what is considered the first Christian oh. rock album in 1969. Yeah, great year. Upon here. This Rock. Yeah, 69. Yep. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, on Capitol Records. Televangelists called him a wolf in sheep's <laughs> oh, clothing damn. and denounced yep. him. Wow. Because of his radicalness. His, he was so abrasive. People weren't ready for it. It was just, they were just not ready for it. It was just terrible. Oh, I see why it was screaming. controversial. You, you guys can't see this at home, but he's a Christian uh, artist and he's got a sexy blonde lady yeah. in like a dress on his album cover. Wow. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 but wait. But wait. Oh, yeah. yeah that's him. Oh, no. Uh, that's him. I'm gay. That's actually him. Larry <laughs> Norman made me gay. <laughs> totally. Tune in live every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Central. On the Unsung Screamers Facebook page, YouTube channel, and Twitter. And check out our Unsung Screamers podcast. Wherever you get your podcasts. Ah!